What is going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about NinjaTrader and doing a full in-depth review of the NinjaTrader platform. NinjaTrader is a third-party software application that allows you to backtest, run strategies live, chart, and, and trade manually too. It's a, basically an all-in-one trading solution for basically being able to make investments and trades on the market. Personally, I use NinjaTrader and, and I'm not sponsored by NinjaTrader. I just, I use the platform. I, I like it and I wanted to make a video of it, but I personally use NinjaTrader to run my, my trading system. Right? You guys have seen in previous videos, uh, when I show my results or, or some charting, you can see that that, that platform is Ninja. So I wanted to talk about, first of all, the pros and cons, and then we'll go over a full in-depth review of the platform. Okay. So if you're looking to get into algorithmic trading and you're looking for a platform, maybe you're saying, oh, do I wanna build my one myself or do I wanna use that's existing already out there? NinjaTrader would be one of those options, okay? So um, personally for me, you may ask, okay, why do I use NinjaTrader? Why don't I just build one myself? So in order to build one yourself, you have to obviously put in a lot of time and effort to do that, right? It, it can take a lot of time depending on how many you know, features you want in, in your, your trading system. And it can take a lot of time to do that. And personally, I wanted to get it up and running as fast as possible. I didn't want to have to worry about, you know, handling broker connections or uh, building a user interface. I wanted that, you know, already out there. So I found NinjaTrader and it, it has allowed me to streamline the process where I only spend time generating strategies, right? Everything else is handled by NinjaTrader. NinjaTrader handles the broker connections. It handles the charting. It handles reliability aspect of making sure strategies are. So it does a lot of heavy lifting and I can just focus on building strategies. That's why I use it personally. It speeds up the process a lot. With that being said, NinjaTrader is not perfect and there's there's pros and there's also cons. So let's start with the main pros of NinjaTrader. So the first pro, the first main pro of NinjaTrader is that a lot of features work right out of the box, right? Like I mentioned before, charting works right out of the box. You can put in a symbol, you can chart multiple symbols, um, you can add indicators to the chart and add strategies to a chart. Uh, you can back test, you can optimize, you can walk forward, optimize. You can look at your metrics, your PNL, uh, get a report of, of how your systems are doing or how your manual trades are doing. So a lot of stuff works out of the gate. You know, you don't have to code any of that. You don't have to worry about coding a back testing engine or a historical data feed engine. NinjaTrader already handles that. All you have to code is strategies or maybe indicators or maybe, you know, um, very custom user interface you know, buttons or drop downs. But other than that, NinjaTrader handles a lot of the boring stuff for you. One major thing it also handles is, you know, reconnecting to a broker or reconnecting to a data feed if you've been disconnected. It handles that automatically, sending you an email if you make a trade. Like a lot of that stuff is built in. So it's great. You know, it saves you a lot of time. Number two, then the number two pro is, is reliable. NinjaTrader overall is a very reliable piece of software. You know, it's been out probably for over 15 years. They've been in the game for a long time. They've made a lot of improvements. I'm sure NinjaTrader 10 years ago wasn't as good as it is today, but they made a lot of improvements. There's a lot of hours and, and years uh, behind this, this, this piece of software, and it makes it very reliable. The third pro is it supports multiple brokerages. NinjaTrader supports Interactive Brokers, TD Ameritrade, uh, Oanda, and a bunch of others. It doesn't support every broker, but it supports the most popular ones. Once again, it saves you time, right? If you wanted to build your own custom trading solution, say you wanted multiple brokers, that would take you a lot of time to do that. You'd have to code each one, find the APIs for each brokerage, and you know, basically have conditions and checks to say, hey, if we're connected to Interactive Brokers, do this. If we're connected to TD Ameritrade, do this. It's a lot of time and effort on your end and NinjaTrader already has that. The fourth pro is the documentation is pretty good, right? Um, NinjaTrader is in C Sharp. They, they call it NinjaScript, but it's basically C Sharp. And the documentation is pretty good. They, they explain everything pretty well. Generally, if you want to look at, you know, say you want to set a profit target, say you want to set a stop loss or uh, an SMA crossover, generally they have an examples. And then if not, the documentation is pretty good and they'll tell you uh, what each method does. So, and the last pro, number five, is active community. So uh, NinjaTrader has a forum and it's it's very, very active. I mean, you can see that there's there's quite a bit of people online and there's posts happening, you know, every 30 minutes, hour. So a lot of people are using the, the platform and, and are talking about it and asking questions and others are answering them. Um, let's hop into the cons and then we'll go over, you know, actually using the software. So the cons of NinjaTrader, it's not perfect. It does have its its downsides. So number one, the, the biggest con is it doesn't support options. You can't chart options, backtest options, 
trade strategy, you can't do options at all, like no options at all. So if you want to get into options, this new trader is not the route for you. You would have to go to another platform that supports it. Uh, one example would be Quant Connect or build your own custom solution that, that um, trades options. Uh, cryptocurrencies, you can chart cryptocurrencies, you can back test them, but you cannot trade them live. Okay, so that's a, another downside to NinjaTrader. Um, they haven't got, I guess, the quantities working yet. I'm not, I'm not sure, but it it is on the roadmap, but there's no timeline at all for both options and crypto. So uh, if you're looking to trade those assets, NinjaTrader Ninja is not for you. You're going to have to go another route. Um, NinjaTrader only works on Windows. It is a .NET based uh, application. Anyways, it is .NET based, so it needs to be running on a Windows machine. I have a Mac. VMware would be an option. Uh, Parallels is another popular option on Mac to simulate Windows. Or you could, you know, buy a Windows VPS like I've uh, I, I put my videos before. Um, basically, a remote computer that has Windows on it, and you would install NinjaTrader there, um, and that would be an extra cost to you. And you'd probably want to spend a decent amount of money because NinjaTrader is—I wouldn't say it's heavy, but you, you need a decent amount of RAM. Uh, and, and processing speed to, to, to do the back test and to run the applications, especially if you're doing multiple symbols, you know, that just, you know, uh, amplifies everything. So you're gonna be spending uh, a couple bucks a month if you wanna go that route. Uh, there's a cost to NinjaTrader. So NinjaTrader, um, you can download it for free and start using it for free. But from what I remember, if you wanna start trading live with real money, that's when you have to pay. It won't let you select your live account you then have to buy the licensed uh, version to to do that. So I believe you can back test and connect a brokerage and chart for free. Uh, but if you want to run it live, that's when you got to pay. So there is a cost to it. Obviously, um, it's not a free. Uh, it's not a free application. It's a, you know, they're a company. They're trying to make a profit. They're, they're offering value with all these features. You got to pay if you want to use that value. And then the last con, there's no really white labeling feature with NinjaTrader. You know, when you use NinjaTrader, you're forced to all the interface is NinjaTrader branding, right? The, the, colors of the buttons and the, the, the background, um, you know, is all NinjaTrader branding. Now to most, most people don't care about that, but maybe if you want to offer um, selling some type of software or service that's related to NinjaTrader, you're kind of forced to use NinjaTrader's uh, logo branding and coloring and stuff like that. Uh, for most people, they don't care, but you know, for the select few, if you want to have your own solution, or you, you know, you have your own logo and own coloring, um, you have to go to a different route to do major issue to most, but uh, to select few in my so that's the main cons of ninja trader um, i'll go over the the pros and cons just to quickly summarize so pros everything works out of the box pretty much right out of the gate uh, it's pretty reliable uh, supports multiple brokers decent documentation and active community and for the cons uh no cost to it and there's you know no you can't really white label it now there's probably many more pros and cons um, i just wanted to list a couple i didn't want to like you know have this an hour video of talking every single thing uh but there's some honorable mentions ninja trader has a um what they call the ninja trader ecosystem it's basically a marketplace where you can buy indicators or strategies from other people from other developers essentially uh and and use them and there's also free ones on there as well so they have that that's probably a, a big pro and i'm sure there's many others and many other cons i didn't want to go over it but anyways let's hop in and kind of show you what the software looks like okay so here is ninja trader in the flesh um I have it opened onto the main screen here. So I'm not gonna go over every single detail, but I'll go over the basics of what you want. So first you wanna set up a connection. You wanna be able to get data from somewhere and to be able to back test, you need data, right? You need open, high, low, close, you know, stock data, futures data, Forex data, that sort of thing. So right out the gate, you have a connections tab here and you can configure and you can see they have a bunch of different uh, connection types that you can select. Uh, you can see Coinbase there. You can see interactive brokers, IQ feed, Kinetic. Um, I use Kinetic personally, TD Ameritrade, that sort of stuff. So they have you know quite a bit of connection. So you wanna connect one, and then when you're connected, you'll see like a little green circle here. Oh, probably can't see it. Green circle here, okay. Um, so if you wanted to say chart something, hit new and then chart, it's pretty simple, type in Apple. You can see they already have like a pre-filled list of stocks and then you can set your parameters like the price series and stuff like that so um that would be charting you can see some trades on here okay so that will allow you to chart um say you wanted to now add a strategy to this chart right um you would click this icon here looks like a little clipboard hit strategies and then 
you have your kind of predetermined list of strategies here, right? And you can code strategies, you can build them, um, you can hire a developer to build one. Um, so I'll select my AI generator strategy that um, I built. I use this to, um, basically it's one strategy, but it can generate technically thousands or millions of strategies based on the parameters I use. Um, so you might have simpler strategies that might just be an SMA crossover, but I'll make this really simple. I'll say, all right, I only want to go long and I want to uh, buy after one red candle, enter after one red candle. So I'm going to set that to one. And then I want a profit target of 2% and a stop loss of 1%. Okay. And then I'll hit apply and okay. And then you can see it, it's auto generated um, or it's generated a strategy here. And if I enable it, it enables a strategy and it's green and um, it will start trading. Today's Saturday, so it'll wait to Monday. But now you can see all these trades, it, it kind of like draws on the chart now. And basically what it did was a back test to catch up to real time. You can see these profit targets, stop losses, uh, that sort of thing. Um, so uh, it's pretty cool. And, and now it's live. You can see that it's live. It's green here uh, and it's applied to the chart. So this is how you would chart something and apply a strategy. Say you wanted to back test a strategy or code one. Uh, what you would do is uh, you would hit new and then to code a strategy, you would use their NinjaScript editor. They also have a strategy builder. If you're not a coder, you can build strategies this way, but um, it, it is pretty limited and um, I don't use it personally. So go to NinjaScript editor here and uh, I have a strategies, you have a strategies folder here. You can also code indicators if you want to and, and many more, um, but I'll right click, hit new strategy, test, hit generate. It auto generates the code for you. And then, um, you know, say you just wanted to buy every candle. I'll just type in enter long them in for you and this on bar update function is called every bar every candlestick so enter long would, would buy essentially yep. and then i called this strategy test so now say i wanted to back test this strategy right so i coded it to back test you would hit new and then strategy analyzer this is their their back testing and optimizing engine um i'd click that I'd select back test, select my strategy, which I'd call test. So it's down here on the right. It's like back test and then select my symbol. Say I want to back test it on Apple. I type it in. We'll run this on daily bars just because a minute would take too long. Do the from and to date, hit run. And. Oh, I was, I was about to say, why is there no trades? Uh, there's a parameter here called, let me just set this and that. And then basically it's going to buy essentially immediately until it exits. Um, if we wanted to always allow it to buy, uh, we could do say 99 entries per direction. In that case, it would just buy at the end of each candle. Okay. And this is a back test. Uh, you can see the results like your net profit which you've seen in my previous videos and you get a nice report card of how it's doing. Um, and they have many more metrics and, and calculations. You can do Monte Carlo's, that sort of thing. So um, that that's the major basics of Ninja Trader. You know, I showed you charting, running strategy live, back testing. Um, there's many more, you can do manual trades on here. Um, and there's, you know, all sorts of other features like way, you know, thousands of indicators, um, you know, uh, and other tools, level one, level two, all that sort of stuff. So I wanted to stop it here and not go too in depth, but um, it's a great platform. It's reliable. Is it the best out there? It's debatable. There's a, a lot of other really good platforms out there that do a lot, a lot of things better than Ninja Trader. Um, so definitely, you know, shop around, you know, um, definitely give Quant Connect a, a, a check out. They're really cool because Quant Connect is a website. Like you can, you just go to the website and you can do back tests and run live. You don't have to download any software. Um, and you pay monthly, uh, so it's a bit cheaper, uh, at least at the start. Um, and then there's 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 many other platforms out there. There's MetaTrader, which is another popular one. 
Um, and then there's also, yeah, you know, if, if you're a, a intermediate expert developer, you can look at building your own. There's a lot of um, open source libraries out there that are free that you can build, you know, from scratch your own uh, back testing engine and even, you know, um, um, you know, connector to, to multiple broker brokerages and running strategies live as well. So uh, there's that option as well. But this is um, my my my, I guess, full mini review of Ninja Trader. There's a lot more uh, features out here, but overall Ninja Trader is great. I use it personally with my own um, trading systems. It's very reliable um, and it's just a solid platform and, um, you know, streamlines. The, the, the major benefit is it streamlines the process, right? Building your own back testing engine and, and, and own engine to run strategies live is very time consuming. If you want to do it as a hobby project, go for it. But you know, if you're looking to start running strategies immediately, you want to use a third party uh, platform, it'll just, you know, save you a lot of time and headaches when it comes to um, all the the not fun stuff. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you use Ninja Trader, what your thoughts are about it. Or if you use something else, I'd love to hear what you hear because or, or what you use because um, I always like to check around um, other platforms and play around with them and see you know, if they offer services that maybe you know Ninja Trader doesn't offer. Okay, uh, but anyways, I will see you next week uh, for the next video and have a good one, guys. Peace.